I think this is very important, especially uh, given the long road for many Filipina and Filipino actors and performers and you know writers, directors, you name it. Um, this is very significant, and I want people to know that it's been a long road for people of color, people particularly of Asian descent, Filipino descent, to be recognized for their work. And so this is a great thing. This is a great moment, always. Did you feel that situation for yourself growing up? You know, maybe uh, just trying to get where you're at now. Well, I mean, for me, like, you know, I, I think about, like, my godfather, who is the late Bruce Lee, and what he went through. And so it's all these, you know, accumulated steps, decade after decade, and making sure that there's representation and that there's our stories are told out there, and that some of our the themes of, you know, the stories we tell are, are universal to everybody, and that's what's really important. Were you, were you old enough to remember your godfather and all that? Absolutely. Yeah, I was seven years old when he passed away, but yet, you know, it was very significant because he died short of his film *Into the Dragon*. And I think about how far we've come, and you know, I, I feel because of him, I, you know, that's how it, I was able to be involved with Star Wars, Ahsoka, and some of the other projects. And I'm just, I'm just so grateful, you know. Again, I'm always an advocate for, you know, uh, pushing the bar up for, you know, uh, moving forward and making sure that there's rep representation for, you know, all our stories. Yeah. Well, for you, what keeps you grounded, or what keeps you connected to your Filipino roots, or food, or just things? Martial arts, for sure, especially the martial arts. I had no choice. I had no choice. Collie sticks, our knee sticks, all over the place. Yes, yeah. So, did your dad put those sticks in your hand right away? Yeah, he did pretty much. I mean, it was around me 24 hours a day. I had no choice. I, I, I uh, yeah, it was definitely a family affair. It's my whole, you know, my heritage. It's my culture, and I'm just grateful for it because it's what helped set the president's going forward with my career and I'm just grateful, you know. Did your dad ever take that thing? Boy, Diana, eat your food. You see this thing? Uh, no, no, no. I would be eating my food and then he'd go, oh no, 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 no. I want to go over this technique. Oh, and this technique and it would drive me crazy, but it, it was one of those moments I'll never forget as a you know, as a child growing up. You're a very good girl. It's about vengeance. If you yeah, competition, if, yeah. You know, sort of in that you know, the devil wears Prada kind of way. It's in that vein, you know, and I think this is fun. We're going to see a lot of competition here and between these two women. I'm excited. So yeah. What side would you be on? Vengeance or, or, or turn to the cheap or just turn to the cheap but a little bit of vengeance? I don't know because I just came out of playing a character that was all about vengeance to some degree, even though it was sort of done in this passive aggressive way. So maybe vengeance. I don't know. Maybe I can connect with that. But then again, my grandmother would say, no, 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 forgive and forget. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. I just don't know. <laughs> Jury's out, so. <laughs> and then maybe last words you want to say out to your fans and also to the actors out there that are struggling or that, yeah. that are still strikes. Just that I, I hope and pray that uh, people are are getting through this strike, uh, especially now. The WGA is settled, but I, my hope and prayer is that you know, the people that our Screen Actors Guild members will get their needs heard and met and um, and that uh, we can go forward and continue on making great stories. So yes, that's about it.